Hi, Scorpio. This is your reading. Apologies for the delay. I had a lot of stuff going on here. I just did Pisces reading, and I'm happy that I'm finally getting the time to do this for you because I um was like, damn, I'm going to go all the way into the next week without getting this done. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Uh, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, November 26th to December 7th, 2017. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Guys, are getting ready for Christmas. If you do celebrate Christmas, happy holidays, early happy holiday. All right, let's see, Scorpio. I feel like I'm shuffling forever sometimes. I kept seeing this eight of air all the time. Um, I'm getting back pain and possibly even in the feet. Uh, be careful of carrying things on your back. <laughs> um, that may be what's causing, um, I get something about disparity, like disparity, like despair. I don't know what the deal is. And maybe there's some kind of burden that somebody's carrying. Um, and it, it is involving your intuition. It's very interesting in nature. Uh, I get failure, like worrying about failure, or that could be where the, the despair, like the feeling of that. I don't know who, whoever that applies to. That was just the first word I was get that came to my mind for a second. Okay, I did shuffle already. The eight of air is um, needing to communicate something to an air sign. It could actually be feelings. I'm getting drawn to Gemini, Libra. Okay, Gemini energy was first. So you may be dealing with a Gemini here. That uh, This energy may be taking too long either to say something to you. Uh, it could be feelings. It could be heartfelt messages that someone wants to share with you, okay? But let me see what's going on here. This is the Crooks on Sada spread, which is why I shuffled 10 times. And that 10 reduces to the 1. And uh, it's in representation of the unk, which symbolizes life. OK, so your starting point has a three of fire here. Uh, you're moving jobs or you're changing jobs with this three of fire. But there is group collaboration. So don't worry. Someone may be leaving this trio. All right. So you may be in a situation. It could be a fire sign that's leaving the trio with this three of fire here. It's causing you a little bit of disappointment. Now you need a replacement. So if this is in a workplace environment. Somebody is going to be leaving here. It's the feeling that I get here. Uh, and it could be a fire sign or they already have not been at work and you're like, where the hell, you know what I mean? With this three of fire energy here. And if this is a home situation, you have a situation where um, there may be three people helping you move into a new home, but one person fell or one person can't be there. You got to change appointments. Um, I also get doctor's appointments with this three of fire as well too. And um, finding out, getting test, re test results done with this three of fire energy too, okay? You're waiting on undines and mermaids, and uh, you're waiting on somebody who is very creatively inclined. That's what this energy means. Somebody who is older, who um, somebody who has been down that road before. So if you do have a situation where somebody is leaving a partnership uh, or leaving a trio-like energy here, this person or whoever they are, they could be white. They, this could be a Caucasian person. With this could be a red-headed person that is that works with you, and they are leaving. You know, somebody wants to do uh somebody is leaving your workplace environment to do something that maybe you thought that uh that they never do and it could be the kind of work that they do you know what i mean it could be somebody's leaving to work with children to um or work in the school or they're leaving corporate to do uh dancing or escorting or something crazy like that this advice could also be a mother-like figure somebody who um is a professional you're dealing with a professional who is giving you advice as to what to do when a partnership has broken or this energy here is a part of this trio and they are the ones that are leaving this is water sign energy though does not have to be water sign energy could be any sign but it just kind of feels like somebody may be too ill to continue some type of threesome okay and it could be a sexual thing it could be a sexual threesome that you may be getting asked and maybe one of the people involved in the threesome either for sexual or for work is older <laughs> and you're like wait a second like i'm not used to this kind of thing if you're this older person then i don't know you you may be asked to do something that uh that's out of your comfort zone is the feeling that i get here involving uh, a three of fire like energy here 
Your present has the eight of water. So yes, it, uh, it's obvious that this is making you uncomfortable as hell. It's okay for it to be uncomfortable because this too shall pass. So somebody's leaving or you need to find somebody quick, quick, quick so that you won't lose your mind. Um, I'm getting like a front desk kind of situation going on here. So you may feel this way. You may feel like you're working at front desk. You could be somewhere in deep in the office, but you feel like front desk meaning on spotlight because now somebody is gone or somebody cannot continue anymore in the workplace environment here. You're trying to also safeguard and protect the success that you've been working so hard to, but someone may be fucking that up. You know what I mean? Someone may be fucking that up for you. And that's why the aid of water energy is here because they're leaving because they're taking your place, trying to take your place. It's making you very, very uncomfortable. I'm getting nausea with this aid of water as well. And there is a shit in this picture. So, I mean, I don't know where you are in the world or, you know, wherever you are, it could be warm, but I mean, very rarely does do you know, would that even apply? But nausea, like this, uh, usually when some people, when they go on a ship, they get nauseous. Um, you may be expecting a child out of nowhere and um, a, a nine is a mermaid maybe getting advice from a midwife or a mother or a grandmother as to like how, you know, about motherhood. You know, you want to learn more about motherhood. You want to get, you know, you want to be treated well. I get that you want to be treated well. With this three of fire energy here, this could be somebody that's leaving the house and they're leaving you with all the responsibility and that's why the eight of water is here too as well and maybe you're expecting it's crazy for someone to be expecting and somebody's like upping and leaving you know i feel like this is a broken partnership between three people and it's kind of like you know you're fighting to keep this energy together you're fighting to keep it together i also get this three of fire energy could be involving a parent could be involving your mother your grandmother you're not getting along with this female Somebody is trying to compete with you with this energy. It could be another water sign like yourself. Um, it could be beauty. It could be something about their beauty, something about the way they look. Um, and it's kind of like I'm getting destiny with this Undines and Mermaids as well, too. So you may be in this. This could be your destiny that's making you uncomfortable. Um, uncomfortable in the sense where um, knowing how to grasp on to your purpose. This is kind of like finding your purpose properly, like, like understanding your purpose in a very good way. You know what I mean? But it's making you uncomfortable because maybe it's making you paranoid. Like whatever kind of work you're doing, you're doing a good job. However, like you're paranoid. It, it, a lot of it has to do with competition. And that's where the paranoia is coming from. The paranoia is coming from competition, fear of having to compete or just the thought of competing. You do not need to do this. You do not need to compete with anybody. Why are you competing? If that's the case, why are you doing so? All right. And if it's a mom, it could be a, a relationship that you have with your mother. You know, it could be like somebody living vicariously through their child. Are you doing that? Or your mother is doing that to you. Okay. And it's, that's why the aid of water is here as well. Something was supposed to be planned properly together with a threesome, mom, dad, child. You know what I mean? Girlfriend, boyfriend, extra. <laughs> you know, this could be you're on stage and there's an extra actor you know what I mean? That they can't be there anymore. Somebody is injured. This eight of water is like somebody's injured. They can't be there. Somebody, I'm getting somebody's popping pills. This eight of water popping pills, you know, to try to ignore something that is obviously happening around them. And it could be something involving destiny. It could be something involving competition. Competition. I'm not saying you are in competition. I'm saying that whatever kind of work you're doing or somebody else is doing, you're using your intuition that maybe you think that somebody's popping pills. Someone may be saying that you're popping pills because you're trying to avoid or either you, a fire sign energy, whoever is maybe you're using your intuition that maybe somebody's on drugs or someone has been doing drugs in order to keep themselves, avoid competition, involve verbal battles, Facebook battles, Instagram battles over beauty, over self-esteem, over doing well, you know, competing. Like, this feels like competition to me and it's making you uncomfortable. I just get that you're trying very hard to avoid this. This could have happened to you in a threesome. You could have been a part of a threesome, like I said, and someone is just not uh, feeling themselves. Like somebody may be feeling themselves, you or somebody else, but there's another energy here where somebody's just not happy. You know, because of competition, self-esteem, 
whatever the situation is, feeling like they need to compete. Somebody's popping pills because they feel like they need to, uh, they want to rise above, but they want to rise above, uh, they want to rise above, but also a avoid what is happening, like in terms of competition and work ethic, etc. Okay. Your future has the five of fire. Um, I get ignoring. Fire of fire is like you're ignoring a fire-like energy here. So you are dealing with a fire sign that has been very much into your business. Uh, they've been playing you for, they've been playing you. You know, someone may have been playing you, you know, but this energy is going into the future, possibly into the 8th of, it could be the 5th of December, or possibly even the eighth. If these, if I add these two together, because I was getting eight, I was hearing the eighth of December. It could be the twenty eighth. No, we're on that already. Uh, it could be the eighth of December here. This eight, this three of fire, and this five of fire is an eight. So it could be the eighth of December. Okay, that you're battling. You're maybe arguing with this individual. How could you leave me? You know, how could you leave this trio? How can you leave this group? I needed you. I needed you to help me out. I needed you to uh, calculate this for me. And someone may just be involved with their own shit. You want that you want them to be involved. It could be your business or for love, whatever it is. You want them to be involved, but they do not want to be involved. You're arguing with them too much. It's not working. Eight of water. All right. It's not working out. So you may be in a situation where you do have somebody who supports you. They're a good friend in the workplace environment, relationship partner, etc. They're supporting you up to a certain extent, but they're minding their own. They're they're very much so minding their own. This is kind of like you like you have somebody that is trying to help you stay focused. It's what it looks like to me. You know, stay focused from this is like taking trips to avoid competition or taking trips to avoid people, like you wanna avoid people, whatever the situation is. You're fo you're trying to use a person to focus, <laughs> this is what it looks like. You're trying to use uh, energy to focus that they're trying to focus on their stuff, but you're asking them to, can you be there? Like, can you be there for me? And I said trips, you're taking trips, like maybe somebody's smoking weed, psychedelic stuff. You know, to avoid, I just get keep getting avoiding competition. Could even be like you're avoiding an argument or a fire-like energy is trying to avoid an argument with you and they're the ones, that's why they're leaving. They can't deal, it's like you are either too on them, it's looking like neediness or vice versa wise. Who, whatever the situation when somebody is leaving because they can't deal. <laughs> either with the workplace, this could be a boss. Three of fire is like a boss like energy here where somebody's on you, like they're on you. You're arguing with them too much. They were protecting you. They keep you safe, but they don't want, I get like too much attention. There's too, somebody wants too much attention here or you either you're asking for too much attention or you're a fire sign energy that wants too much of your attention, whatever the situation is. Woo, Scorpio. Scorpio, oh, your instincts has the village card. And um, you may be worrying. I get that you are worrying that maybe a business is going to close be because of something that is going on around you. Um, I get closing up shop. It could be a business. Somebody may be saying that it could be, your, like I said, this could be your boss. That's why you're uncomfortable. Your boss is like, I, I'm moving back to India or I'm moving back to so-and-so. And you're like, I'm going to be out of a job. So th this could be bankruptcy. Cancer was getting that kind of energy too. This could be a bankruptcy. This could have been a bad business deal that you have with this fire-like energy here. This is your energy. So I kind of feel like this is you, but this is almost like somebody's got badass business, bad, badass. Like somebody is a badass. It could be the kind of work that they do you or a fire sign, or I just see fire in your energy here. Somebody's a badass at what they do, and it's either you and you're worried about your business being closed down because of somebody else. Could be another water sign. Could be this. For, oh, it could be this female. I said a female. This could be this female energy here that you are dealing with that is giving you really freaking bomb ass advice. Somebody's giving you bomb ass advice, and it could be a mother. And about business, this could be a motherly figure that is giving you advice about business or how to handle your business whatever the situation is, you are that mother that is doing that. There's another situation where this is a job. Somebody's trying to up and leave, close down a business. You're like, I'm my ass going to be out of a job. What am I going to do? Should I move to another state? Should I move to another country? Whatever the situation is, okay? 
your accomplishments has issue. I always got issue as a Pisces man. It does not have to be a Pisces man. However, I kind of feel like um, if this is going to be an accomplishment, this could be moving in with your boyfriend if you are a female. If this is a bisexual thing, I have to go both ways for everybody. So it could be a gay relationship as well with this issue energy. I get that you're working together with this person. If they are a Pisces. They do not have to be a Pisces. This could be a Caucasian man. This could be like the uh, Caucasian boss, a Caucasian friend that somebody is moving in with. I get that this is an interracial relationship or an interracial friendship that has uh, that has come together in the workplace environment here. All right. Somebody is very attracted to you that is outside of your, you know, who you normally date and talk to. It's like a black. This is like African American or a Caribbean person with a European, obviously. All right. If that is something that you're dealing with or this is just somebody that you are deciding to have come on board now that you're whoever, wherever you were working before, whatever this threesome energy is here is, uh, you know, you want to heal it. You're using this person to heal. If this is a Pisces that you're dealing with, you're using them to heal uh, a broken partnership. You're either moving in. This could be someone who's offering you a new job. You know what I mean? Interesting. Get excited. I feel like you should get excited about this energy, though. Whatever this, whatever they're proposing to you, okay? Your spiritual self has the ace of water. Uh, a new relationship. I did get that. You have a new re relationship here that somebody's trying to make you feel better after a loss. It could be a loss of a family member or a loss of a job with the tower energy there because your boss or whoever, your mother, your father, somebody is leaving you. I was getting this vicarious, living vicariously through somebody. So somebody that has been doing that to you, vice versa, somebody is leaving that crazy relationship to go to a new one that's a little bit more emotionally secure. This ace of water is kind of like feeling, uh, falling in love with yourself as well. That looks good. You're falling in love with yourself after a threesome is fucked up. Whatever this threesome consists of, whether it's your brother and your sister, whether it's your aunt and your uncle that you live with, uh, it could be two dudes and two guys, two friends, three friends, and one of them is on drugs and like, get your ass out of my house, basically. But you're finding, this is like finding a new roommate. After one got locked up, after one got thrown into jail, after one was doing coke and they're like, get my, get your ass out of my house. This is a, like a new person, or this could have been the person that their ass was kicked out because they were doing that. Okay. Your mentality has dwarves and gnomes creativity. You may be working at night. This is your mentality. You do spend it. You may not be getting any sleep properly because of the situation. So either you need a new job because you're being transferred out. You, this, you could be getting transferred out through this individual. This person is, I get that they're offering you something here with this issue right next to this three of fire. Um, I get temptation. Like you feel tempted to date somebody in the workplace. I see what this is. You could be black or white or you're, but you're this temptation to date somebody that is uh, um, of a different tone or ethnicity or whatever the situation is than you is what it looks like here. And that's why the eight of water is here. And that's why the eight of uh, the eight of water and the ace of water is there. This is like a new relationship with another water sign after a fire sign was doing drugs or drinking or, um, and it could be in the workplace. It could be in the home, etc. Okay. What's changing for you has the five of earth. And your resolution has this uh, has the four of fire, and um, it looks like you're moving forward here. But it's like you're going into battle again in the future. Five of fire energy here with the four of fire. It looks like you moved in with a fire sign that is causing you problems. Literally is what it looks like, and it could be because of money with the five of earth energy here. Okay, because of money, somebody has is either losing their job, needs to change jobs has found a new relation that a relation has been having relations with somebody that they're working with and it's causing them to, or it could be a relationship with a drug that you're hearing that somebody's having. And that could be why somebody's either asking to leave or they're getting fired. It could be you or a, a family or a friend, family member or a friend, whatever the situation is here. This is very interesting. It's a very interesting reading. Okay. This four of fire and this five of fire is like, it's like you keep pricking, you keep going back to some kind of energy that's not, it's not really working for you. It's like you literally moved back in with someone that's not healthy for you. And it could be an old job that you went back to or a new person, uh, uh, not new, uh, an ex. This looks like you could have went back to an ex that's not really good for you. 
is the feeling that I get or a job. This energy here is trying to offer you something, but there's there's temptation and there's hesitation. It's like not knowing what to do because somebody's so attractive, you know? That's interesting. Ooh, all right, Scorpio, let's look for an outcome. Okay. I did say you were getting a new job offer here now that your boss has decided to move back to whatever country or whatever state or wherever province. Let's see. You have the Emperor card sign of Aries here. And um, you got an emotional offer coming in from a man. I did say whether you are male or female, it could be a boss. Um, somebody may be losing their job. It doesn't have to be you. It could be another energy around you, fire-like energy that, that you're on the outside looking into. Maybe somebody's losing their job. I have to go both ways. So either you are, um, I just hope that that's, it's not you. <laughs> I hope that it's not you that's losing your job, but it could be. But this could also be somebody else that you're dealing with that they're on out. Like I did say, a fire sign energy, you know, it was trying to come on to you. You know, somebody may have been really, like, they may have been trying to flirt with you in the workplace, and it just was like, get off. Like, get off of me. Cops may have been involved. Someone may have been too touchy. Could it look like sexual assault in the workplace, in the home? They were doing drugs in the home, in the workplace. Whatever the situation is. But it's like, you're going back to them. You may be calling them. This is like going back to somebody that has hurt you or has touched you in the wrong way. Or being nice to someone who has thrown you under the bus. Again, this doesn't have to be an Aries. This is to be a, this could be a male that you were dealing with. I'm getting a Taurus-like energy as well, too. Okay? That's why the five of Earth is here in terms of changing. I was getting Taurus. It could be a Taurus male that your, your relationship with that energy is changing. Taurus, male or female. It's like going, you're going back to them. You could have been offered a new relationship, something offered something new. But there's another energy there that's like, nope. No, you're going to come right back to me. You're going to come right back to me emotionally. Emotionally come back to me. Okay? Come back to me. All right, Scorpio, take care and be blessed. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. My Instagram is available as well too, okay? So take care. Bye.